I wanted to disable the speaker on an AirTag, and so I watched many, many videos on YouTube explaining how to do it. And the system that everybody else is using is to insert a knife blade and pry until you get the two pieces, the gray piece and the white piece, separated enough to wedge a screwdriver in there and then work your way around with the screwdriver to separate the two pieces. It works, but you break off the mounting tabs that hold the two pieces together. And once that happens, you, after you disable the speaker, you have to glue it back together. I found a much better way to open it up that's actually easier, quicker, and does not break the tabs. Now, I've opened this one up once and marked where the tabs are internally that hold the two pieces, the gray piece and the white piece, together. So if you look closely, you can see that one tab is just to the right of that battery contact. One tab is at the bottom, right by this flange here that holds the, back in, the battery back in place. And the other tab is over here near this flange. Now get a good look at where these are because you'll need to, to find these locations on your AirTag. I put tiny little dots here with a Sharpie and I would recommend doing the same. Taking a pencil or a Sharpie or a ballpoint and using this video as a reference, make a dot here, a dot here, and a dot here. Now you know where to pry. Now we're gonna take a knife tip and we're going to insert it between the two pieces and we're going to push inward to make the tab release instead of prying it open with the screwdriver and breaking the tabs. So we're going to go in here and push and that tab has been released. Now we're going to come around to the next one. Insert in there and push inward until the tab releases. Now we come around to the third location, push it down in there until the tab releases. And now you see I've separated the two halves, turn it back around where the contacts are at the top, but you can see all three tabs are still in place. All right, now I'm going to remove the speaker. I've been I've seen on other videos that you can reinsert the speaker and make it work again, but I have no interest in making that work again. All right, now, because I didn't break any tabs, all I have to do is line up the holes for the battery contacts and snap it back together. And I didn't tear up the edge with a screwdriver and I didn't break any tabs and I don't need any glue, I'm done. I hope this is helpful. Please like and subscribe to this channel. I'm trying to grow this channel and I need to get a thousand subscribers so I can start making a little bit of coin on this. Thank you.